Hello guys, Casper from Turtle here. Today I will be talking a bit about our template for ChatGPT, a template we made where you're able to uh, create image prompts and text prompts using OpenAI's ChatGTP. All it requires is your own license key, your own API key to be able to play around with this template. You will find the template in the template section within Turtle. Cool, let's have a look. So right now I'm in our ChatGPT template within Turtle and I'm just going to briefly walk you through the, the layout and uh, the overall idea behind this project. Um, let's talk about the layout. As you can see in the middle I have uh, a big blank, a big uh, black space for something. What's going to happen? I'm going to show you in a bit. I have a button here for text prompt and an image prompt. These are just buttons for selecting uh, if you're going to ask ChatGPT for a text answer or for an, an image, uh, an AI generated image. And down here I can ask my question or I can make my, my image prompt. Let's quickly just test this setup as it is for now. So I can either choose between text prompt or between image prompt. And I'm not sure if it works in this test mode. Let's see if we can ask something. How tall can a giraffe be? Get. And it says working in here. So something is happening. Ah, the server had an error. Okay, I don't think this test setup is hooked up to ChatGPT, but let's go and test it out in the preview mode. I'll go into the project here and enter the preview mode. It looks a bit weird, weird on, on desktop at the moment, but it's, it's meant for, for mobile primarily. But let's try again. How tall can a giraffe get? It says working. A giraffe can grow up to be 18 feet tall. Thank you very much. So that's working. I will choose the image prompt down here and I can ask for giraffe with a hat. It's generating an image and something is happening. I have a giraffe with a hat on. Cool, so this template works. Let me return to the project. In order to make this work, all you have to do is actually go into the data tab. And within here, uh, I'm not going to open it because I have to hide our own private API key. But in here, you're able to sort of... No, let me just do it. I'll just blur it out. So in here, you're able to actually insert your API key next to this field called authorization. So all you have to do is go in here and enter your own API key. You will find that somewhere on uh, ChatGPT. And you do that for both the, the image API and for the text API. You insert the very same uh, API key. That's all you have to do in order to be able to use this template. Yeah, cool. Uh, that's all for now. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.